Hi again, Dallas here with Privateer Press. Last time we primed our battle group, and now we're gonna apply our first coat of paint. The technique I'm gonna share in this video is dry brushing. Dry brushing accentuates the details of our model and gives a quick rough outline for our later steps. So let's get our paint on. To start dry brushing, we're gonna use a large dry brush and some P3 cold steel. We're gonna apply just a little bit of the paint to the tip of our brush and remove any excess onto a paper towel. That's about right. To apply the paint, begin lightly brushing cold steel across the surface of the model. And it's okay to be sloppy at this point. When we come back later with our other steps, all of that will get cleaned up. If you need more paint, grab some, remove the excess. Be sure to not to dip the ferrule of the brush. If you get paint in that, it kind of ruins the brush. The goal here will be to get all the trim and all the metal parts completely covered in a nice layer of steel. Dry brushing picks up the details and leaves the recesses black. And this helps create contrast. Because you can be so messy, it's kind of one of the fun parts of painting. Remember, multiple thin layers are better than one thick layer. It's okay to take our time. And for some place like the boilers, you can get a little heavy handed. I like to paint smash. Dry brushing is an excellent technique for picking out those high detail elements, such as fur, chainmail, or any other fine textures you may come across. And that's your first layer of steel. Now we can switch to a small dry brush and a touch of Rulet Gold. Once again, just touch the tip into the paint, and remove any excess. And for this, we're just going to pick out the areas that we want to be gold. And as you can see, I'm going across the surface here. If I go this way, I'm going to end up painting the gold down in the recesses. I want very little gold down in there. I want to focus on the upper surfaces. So by going against the grain of the detail, it helps keep the gold on the upper surface. And by dry brushing the gold over the silver, a little bit of the silver stays in the recesses and shines through, making the gold a little more vivid and bright. Just add some life. And the only part I'm worried about is getting too much gold on the silver. But if there's a little gold on the silver, it'll be covered up. If you work the area too much while it's wet, you could end up with clumping. So it's good to let it dry, like work an area, go to another area, and then when this is dry, come back to it. And that's our gold. It looks like we have a great start for our model. Hang out with me next time and I'll show you how to get your base coats all set. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby line. Flame fist, flame fist, flame fist, flame fist.